We'll move on to Wonder Woman issue 9, Brian Azzarello, uh, writing with Tony Akins on the art. Uh, Wonder Woman's, there's a, there's a wedding to happen. Uh, Hades wants to, wants to marry Wonder Woman. And it's, the others prepping to go into hell to try and save her, and like how they're going to do that. Uh, family members coming for the wending and whether or not it's a good idea that's kind of speculating on that uh, ultimately uh, Hades is worried that Wonder Woman's faking it and it's all a ruse just to save Zola so he wants her to prove it uh, and I, I kind of anticipated that he was going to end the issue with saying you're going to have to use the lasso I want you to like say you love me and you're dedicated to me and devoted to me with the lasso I did not actually expect it to be formed into a noose uh, for the cliffhanger page yeah it's dark as shit yeah, so I, I, either you're telling the truth and that's okay, or you're lying and we'll let you hang uh, with the last of the truth. That's uh, that's something. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite the moment to end on. I'll give it that. I guess it's a cliffhanger. I'll, I'll, I'll give it that. Um, you know, I, I I feel weird talking about this book now. It's like we've established that I'm just not that into it that much, and it's it's fine. But <laughs> like, yeah, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. I think the art is obviously weaker here when it's as always when it's not Chang. Um, I'll, I'll be honest. There was a moment. See when they were sitting around the table, uh, like you know the, the other characters with Zola and uh, Hephaestus, Hephaestus uh, and all that. Yeah, you got Hermes in there and. Yeah. See, see when yeah. they're all sitting around the table, there was a couple of times where I actually had to stop and think about who Zola was because I'm like, who's this person? Who's this? And part of it's because her hair just got a bit longer because she'd been in hell for a while, but I swear, like, the, the artist here, and I think it's because she's pregnant and they're, they're trying to, like, not just puff up her belly, but also her face. But when it, the first couple of panels with her head, and her, it's much more rounder and she's got, like, sort of, like, shaggy hair, I'm like, who's this? Who's this 12 year old boy? No, I agree. Uh, that that first close up on her face, um, she's there, you know, with a fist banging a fist on the table. Yes, uh, she's in like you know the the tank top that she has been wearing anyway, but with the shaggy hair and the way it, she, she looks like a teenage boy, uh, like like having a bit of a tantrum. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, there, there's no getting around that. It's uh, a little bit rough. <laughs> That stuck out to me. I mean, that, for the most part, wasn't bad though. It was, but it, that that stuck out to me because I I genuinely got confused for a second as to who that was, and I'm like, oh, it's Zola. Yeah, okay. There's there's the odd panel that is just particularly bad, but mostly it's just mostly it's not that bad. It's just not up to the stand of Chen. I mean, you get to some stuff like you know the the the, the full page spread where they're arriving in hell and. Hades has like invited all of his souls to the wedding and it's like this like cathedral made out of souls that's an interesting image now admittedly from an art perspective it's kind of an easy win because it doesn't have to really do much in the way of detail it's all just these mostly white with a handful of just rough body figure shapes yeah uh but it does create an image it is a stark a striking image so yeah 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 fair, it, fair play. it looks good that does for sure um i think it's some of the finer details where where Aikens doesn't quite stand up. Uh, but there's, there's a lot I like in this issue other than that. Um, I, I do like the rest of the group kind of doing their plan. I think they they bounce off each other quite well. There's a lot of good dialogue back and forth between them. Um, it's always, you know, fun to read. It's got a good pace to it. And then, um, you know, we got you know, Wonder Woman in with uh, Persephone and, you know, tying it with, with her past and what Wonder Woman potentially has to look forward to. Uh, and then you got you know, the other the images of the 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 uh, the eyes crying the the blood wine, like stuff like that. I'm like ah, oh, that just just gives it atmosphere that I really like. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, H- Hades' design still kind of bothers me in a weird way. It feels a little bit <sighs> try hard, I guess. <laughs> like no, it, no, absolutely. Hades is an edge lord, but that's kind of what his character is. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, it just it doesn't jive me. So some of the creative choices just don't jive me. Uh, but that's that's not new. It's just yeah, yeah, as what it is. Uh, all right, okay. What would we 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 giving it then? Uh, I'm gonna give this a straight seven. I think it was with the art bumped up a little bit, it would have been higher. But as it is, yeah, I'll uh, I'll give it a six. It's fine. <laughs> it's like uh, you know, I'm I'm just not into it basically. <laughs>